Jomo Kenyatta, 1897-1978, was a prominent Kenyan political leader who played a crucial role in the struggle for Kenya's independence from British colonial rule. Here is a brief summary of his history. Early life. Jomo Kenyatta was born as Kamau Wangengi around 1897 in Gatundu, British East Africa, now Kenya. He belonged to the Kikuyu ethnic group. Education. Kenyatta pursued education at mission schools and later studied in London at the London School of Economics and Political Science during the 1920s. He developed a keen interest in African nationalism and political activism during his time in Europe. Political activism. In the 1920s and 1930s, Kenyatta became increasingly involved in African political movements. He advocated for the rights of African people and criticized colonial policies. Kenyatta was a key figure in the Kikuyu Central Association, which later evolved into the Kenya African Union, KAU, arrest and imprisonment. In 1952, Kenyatta was arrested by the British authorities during the Mau Mau Uprising, a violent rebellion against British colonial rule in Kenya. He was accused of being associated with the movement, although the extent of his involvement remains a subject of historical debate. Trial and Imprisonment Kenyatta's trial in 1952 led to his conviction for alleged involvement in the Mau Mau Rebellion. He was sentenced to seven years in prison, but was later detained for a more extended period, independence and presidency. Kenya gained independence from British colonial rule in 1963, and Jomo Kenyatta became the country's first prime minister. In 1964, Kenya became a republic, and Kenyatta became its first president, a position he held until his death in 1978. Legacy Kenyatta is remembered for his role in Kenya's struggle for independence and his efforts in shaping the early post-colonial nation. However, his presidency also faced criticism for authoritarianism and ethnic favoritism. Despite the controversies, he remains an important figure in Kenyan history.